Guys, we're here at Disney's California Adventure today. We're just gonna hang out. This is a Magic Journeys vlog. We wanna spend some time with you. So why don't you join us today on this Magic Journeys. Here we go. If you want hot caramel fresh popcorn, get it right here, you guys. This is it's it. the only place you can get it hot and fresh and ready. Caramel popcorn, I know. So good. And it smells so good over here. I can smell the fresh popcorn in the air. Every time I pass by this booth, I gotta be careful because I know I'm gonna want some popcorn. It's just, I don't think I'm, I don't think I want it right now, but I will probably later. I don't know. What do you think? Oh my gosh, we should get it later and like show them because we always say it, but we never showed. I think we showed it once in our video, but we never like showed you guys. But yeah. this is the spot to get freshly popped caramel popcorn. Definitely have to come and get it. It's a pretty busy day here today at Disney's California Adventure. We were walking around and we just noticed so many people. And today is a Tuesday. Now what they say is that it really doesn't matter what day you're here at Disney. Your guess is good as ours when it comes to like when it's gonna be packed. Yeah, but I love the energy. I love walking around and just feeling that ambience. Everyone's having a good time. And we're gonna walk around and we're gonna see what else we can find today. Usually these vlogs, we just, we come in and walk around and just do some fun stuff. There's nothing really planned. We're just gonna be walking around and having some fun. It looks like the food boots have arrived. Yeah, so yeah. looking over here, guys, food and wine is on its way. We're getting really close. When was it? Uh, it's March 1st, right? March, March 1st, 1st through April, I saw it somewhere. April 22nd. Yeah, there's we're a, there's getting a time there. Right there. <laughs> so that's this Friday. That's this Friday. If you're going to be there, let us know in the comments. We're going to be there. I mean, we're foodies. Yeah, we're, we're foodies going to be there at Food and Wine, and we can't wait to go. They have a lot of booths already out. Over here, let's see. They're going to have impossible chicken parm bites, impossible beef stroganoff, and that ah, watermelon cucumber mojito. Gonna be really good. Yeah. This looks like it's gonna be like refreshing because of the watermelon in the mint. Maybe we should oh. come and try that. I know we should. Okay, <laughs> this is giving me like a mental picture of what I'm know. gonna try. I can't wait. So we've been wanting to try the mango lassi, and they have it here at the food truck. Yes. What do you think? You think we should get it? What do you mean? Yes, we should. <laughs> well, we're it's over here already. Top. We might as well, right? In Hollywood Land, they have this right here, the Studio Catering Company. And it's this little food truck. Right now they have Mango Lassie here. And I loved it over at Disney World. So I kind of want to try what it's like here. I love this. I love the theming here. It's great. <laughs> it's like we're in the back lot. I know, right? It looks cool. Like, a, okay, remember when they used to have like the speakers and say, oh, Mickey needed at stage 24. Yes. Well, what happened to that? I don't know. And they used to play theme music too. They yes. used to have Indiana Jones, Superman. Yes. Oh, what, what happened, happened to that? To that? You totally unlocked a memory. <laughs> I, I didn't think of it too until I saw this sign. I'm like, wait, didn't they used to have like those sayings? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> wow, there it is. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot. That's pretty. I mean, this looks really juicy yeah. and delicious, doesn't it? I don't know, because I can't focus. This camera's oh. not letting me. <laughs> I'm using a different one this time. Usually I use what's called the Sony FX3. Today I'm using what's called a Sony ZV-E1. And the autofocus is always kind of wacky it's on this one slow. for some reason. I don't know. It's very breathy. I've noticed. <laughs> but look, can it, does it focus now? It, it's focusing on your face. Oh no. Right, there you go. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good. There's like some yogurt on top. This was one of my favorite drinks over at Disney World. Now, if I am pronouncing it incorrectly, let me know in the comments how it's actually pronounced. I might be butchering it, but it looks great. And they got the mangoes on top. Look. I know. That looks so good. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, that is awesome. Now it's gonna have coconut and mango inside. You got your yogurt on the top. It's very, oh my gosh, it's very mango tasting. And I know it's in the name, but it's like if a mango had fists and it punched you in the face and you got a mango punch. That's what, that's what this is, yeah. <laughs> mm. If you guys wanna try this, it's very refreshing. Come get it over here at the Studio Catering Co. If this was to stay around, this would probably be my favorite drink here at Disney's. California Adventure. I wanted to say Disneyland Resort, but I Disneyland California. Well, it is the <laughs> Disneyland Resort. But uh, yeah, I think this is actually really good. And you got your mangoes on top too. Mm. You can try it. Now we really enjoy making these vlogs. What I like about them is that we can come to the park and just have some fun, look around, and pretty much talk about anything. When we're doing a Magic Journeys video, we kind of have to be more like, we have to be locked in. We got to look at what we have to do and we have to shoot certain foods and we're on a mission but today is just all out fun. You can go and do pretty much anything. 
And right now we're here in Hollywood and they have these new Pixar Fest signs that we have to show you. These are new. Let's go take a look. Pixar Fest is returning. Yeah. Are you excited? I am. Look, they got the posters right in front of you right there. Look, these are the Pixar Fest posters. I think the last time they had Pixar Fest was in 2018, 2019. I think it's 2018. I think. Was it? I think, I think. I yes. don't remember. It's been so long. I know. <laughs> they, all the years were like this together, but I can't believe it's coming back. Yeah. It's going to be awesome to have new foods, a parade, and I'm just really excited. I'm excited for it too. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited for Pixar Fest or should it just stayed in the past? I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested to see what all you guys have to say. If you guys think Pixar Fest should have been left in the past, let me know. If you're excited for it, I also want to know. I think of all the lands here at Disney's California Adventure, I think Avengers Campus probably has the loudest oh my gosh, music. I can hear it from here, I'm like, is it just me? Do they have the loud music extra loud today? It's super loud. I can hear from here. I think they always had it loud. Look at all the food they're gonna have this year. I know, there's a lot I of know. foods on this That's billboard here. favorites, like this macaron here. This one is tradition. Oh, Everyone has to get this, guys. It's really good. It's very tasty. I think this year we're going to have to do it again. Yeah, that drink looks good. This is from Jolly Holiday, is it not? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I had this one. They have lollipops here. They had the Mojo drink I saw earlier. I'm excited. Uh, they this got a lot really of food. Good. I'm I excited think, for this. I think food and wine is like the time where like a lot of chefs experiment on foods. It's, I mean, come on. Popsicle thingy would drink here. They always have some kind of weird popsicle I know. every year. <laughs> I know, I think I think it's becoming a tradition now. At the look. Golden Dreams, you're going to be able to get this. So a lot of people ask us, what is your favorite restaurant here? This is California Adventure. And I would say my favorite restaurant would be Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. What do you think? Uh, you know what? That, I think, has the best pasta. They do. The best. I don't know about the pizza. The pizza is the same as the pizza yeah, planet. Yeah, don't go for but the pizza. The pasta there is something else. They don't know what I don't know what they have, a special ingredient, but it's really, really tasty. I, I know. Think. And we're a little hungry, so I think we should head over. And let's go over there right now. <laughs> this is what I mean about experimental foods. Look. What's that? The cheese pizza flavored wings. What? I know. Cheese pizza flavored I wings. Know. That's something we definitely have to that try. That sounds pretty good, right? I'm like, yeah, wait, that sounds, sounds good, good actually. Cheese pizza flavored wings. Let me know if you guys are gonna wanna try something like that at Food at Wine, because that does sound pretty interesting. <laughs> we gotta try it. And then this, I wanna try that, the tangerine tiki cocktail. $17, that's pricey, but man, I do love me a good tiki drink. Paradise Garden Grill always surprises with food. Right now it looks like Buffalo chicken tenders are on the menu. They got a sweet Thai chili chicken tenders, a loaded burrito, and al pastor loaded fries. Wow, and they also have like an impossible chili cheese fry. They always have some pretty interesting stuff over here. I know, this is where they get very experimental. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to come back yeah. over this area for food and wine. So over here at the Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta, they do sell salads over on the other side that you can get. They have pizza and they also have pasta. And then if you want some cake, they got cake too. What kind of cake cheese. is this? I think it's like a cheesecake. Ooh. You say? They do have oh, one cinnamon. of Janelle's favorite cakes here, which is a tiramisu. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> the cinnamon roll cheesecake. Cinnamon roll cheesecake. Alright, so right now they have some salad. new salads here. These are this like pecan salad I used to like. So it's good to try new things. Oh, let's try this out. Let's see what it's like. So this they is new. They changed the whole menu, so I kind of want to see if they change the pasta. They also changed the pasta, so we're gonna try that. They have other ones here too. They got a spaghetti. That looks good. I want to try the vegetarian. See yes. how good it is. But everything here looks delicious. We're gonna have to try it and find wow. out. <laughs> so there used to be a pasta I used to love here, the creamy pesto, and they don't have it anymore. So I don't know how I feel about this new menu. No ice is coming out. Um, I'm a little <laughs> sad about that, but we'll see. Maybe this one's gonna be even better. Ice. Uh oh. Maybe the other ice. side? Should we check the other side? <laughs> okay. We're gonna go to the other machine, see if they have some ice. <laughs> We're on a mission for ice. Ice. The mission of ice. Moment of truth, ready? Moment of truth. Yeah. Success! Didn't they used to have cherry coke? 
Oh, they don't have cherry coke. We used anymore? to be like big fans of cherry coke. Now we become fans of Coke Zero. Oh man. But when, you know how wild it would have been to have Coke Zero sugar cherry? That makes sense? No. <laughs> <laughs> Coke zero, zero, I lost myself cherry. too. I'm like, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got this at the Boardwalk Pasta, and this is a creamy marinara primavera. It's got rigatoni with marinara coconut cream sauce and seasonal vegetables. Now, this is a plant-based dish, and it looks pretty good. Like, not too bad. Now, I am a little sad because they got rid of the pasta that I really yeah. enjoyed, which was the, uh, the basil pesto. The basil pesto. That was my favorite. And oh man, I hope this is good because to get rid of that for this, we're we're gonna find out if it's any good. I'm just gonna try the noodles for now with the tomato sauce. I really like the pasta. The noodles got a nice al dente texture and it's very creamy. I love the tomatoes, they're very robust. The vegetables are fantastic. You do have uh, green peppers in here and uh, you also have mushroom and big chunks of tomato. This is not bad and this is a plant-based dish but is it worth replacing that other dish that I really enjoyed? I don't know, man. I'm so conflicted right now because this is good and it looks like they serve you a lot more. The other one just had ravioli pieces. I love I think you're gonna get more yeah. full with this than you are with the other one. Good. This is still fantastic and it's a great dish. I'll tell you that right now, it's really good. But uh, it kind of hurts me a little bit I that know. that other dish is it's gone. iconic man. dish. I wish I you got the fair warning. That's what I'm. That's what I'm more. They for. should always do some stuff that are like experiment, <laughs> like keep it seasonal. And if people love it, keep it. But you're kind of getting rid of, of a favorite of many <laughs> for I know. this. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You never know. So I got myself the wedge salad, and one of my favorites here at the boardwalk is the the pecan one that they used to have. Remember that one? Yeah. That was so. That's one of my favorites. I used to get it all the time. Every time I pass by, that was my go-to. But now they have a wedge salad with romaine lettuce, crispy onions, onions, tomato, pickled onions, and balsamic and blue cheese dressing. So let's just see how it tastes. Let's see. There we go. Look, she's gonna and cut it's it up. It's huge. Yeah. See, I like my salads already chopped. <laughs> 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 now we didn't know there was a new menu. We kind of just no, came over here, we're we craving the boardwalk pasta, and they told us it was a brand new menu. It yeah. just changed even a few days ago, they said. That was pretty cool. Get some of the crispies. Here there we go. go. So that's the cool thing about vlogging is we can kind of explore and walk around and, and you'll find new things, things that we can do on a regular episode. And there's actually some baking bits in there, do you see them? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I like my salad. I like the robust tomatoes, the savory taste of the bacon, the crispy onions, the vinaigrette, the blue cheese dressing. But I kind of like the other one better that I like, the apple pecan salad. Yeah, it's too bad they got so rid good. of it, huh? Yeah, I like the vinaigrette on that one a little bit more than this one. Yeah, I'm kind of sad they got rid of my <laughs> pasta too, so I like this one. The only yeah. thing is I, I, I'm having those mixed feelings because I miss the other pasta. <laughs> Me too. So I'm kind of mixed. You, you, Are you mixed too? I'm kind of mixed too because I really like these dishes. They're really good. But I like the other ones a little bit more. If that yeah. makes sense. It's gonna be that same situation again when they got rid of the broccoli cheddar soup oh, over no. at Harbor Galley. Yep. Who do I get to talk to? <laughs> Should I get to talk to someone? That was a heartbreaker. I know, I'm so sad. Oh no. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Do you guys prefer the old pastas or did you guys uh, want to try the new ones? Yeah. Let us know. I want to know because this is just our opinion. Yeah. We want to know what you guys think. But cheers, me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We should check out. What? I heard there's a new churro cart over there by Grizzly Peak. It's really? Be, yeah, and it looks like it's supposed to look like camper van or uh, yeah, one of those like camping vans. I didn't know about this. I'm down to check this out. And it's going to <laughs> So you said it was a Grizzly Peak, so it's somewhere down this way. I think, I think so. so I we'll find wrong. out. We'll find we'll out. Let's see. I mean, I got my hot hands. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. It's a little camper. I know, it's so cute. I feel like mostly, I feel like carts should have a theme every time. They should. Right? Like Tomorrowland has some. Well, no. doesn't mostly every popcorn cart have a theme? Do they? Do yeah, they not? Like, some of them don't though. Like the one at uh, Frontierland next to Golden Horseshoe, that one's just a regular cart. You're right. It kind of has like a wagon vibe, doesn't it? Sort of, but I feel like it needs more. 
<laughs> yeah, this one is really nice. I do like it. It's it, so cute. It made it like, look like a little camper here in yeah. the woods. Is it little flowers or just the flowers? Yeah. It's so cute. There it is. Got a little Mickey on it. I we had it. to get a churro. I mean, come on. We can't well, just show up We're here at the cart. Cart. We're showing we the new cart. We might as well get the churro. Right? Is it the Neapolitan? Sh I don't say sugar. Neapolitan churro with whipped cream chocolate and strawberry sprinkles. Yeah. I mean, we cannot stop with the churro cart and I get ourselves a churro, right? I know. This is one of their seasonal ones. It's a Neapolitan churro and has sugar or well, strawberry sugar, chocolate syrup, and some vanilla whipped cream on top. Ooh. Look at cute little Mickey. Do you see it? It's got a little whipped cream <laughs> Mickey right on top. So cute. I love it. Here we go. The Neapolitan Ooh. churro, guys. Wow. Remember the Fluffernutter churro? That one was that good. That one needs to be a permanent one for sure. I know it has like the strawberry sugar, but it's leaning more towards like a like a like a s'mores flavored churro. It's that chocolate and it's the that whipped chocolate cream. The whipped cream. Mm -hmm. The strawberry, you do taste a little bit of the hint of the strawberry, but it's very subtle. I kind of like it, but I just wish they brought back the Fluffernutter churro. That's the that best. That one was the best. It was like peanut butter, chocolate syrup. That needs to be permanent for sure. You know which one was a lot of fun? Which one? Remember the Oogie Boogie churro with the gummy worms on it? That one was good too. Yeah, with the green icing on top. Okay, do you remember when they tried to go fan? Okay, I know we're remembering all these churros. <laughs> remember the one with the, the hot Cheetos? Oh, yup. I right? remember. No, I <laughs> I'm know. I'm trying it to was forget. Like, <laughs> it was like a love or hate thing. Like we took a few bites. The first bite, you were like, uh. The second bite, it actually okay. worked. It was growing on me. Yeah. But never again. <laughs> yeah. Let's not do it again. Disney. But this is yeah. I like this. <laughs> I'm trying to get some really nice shots for our videos. Right now I'm just testing it because this is a vlog, of course. I bought this diffuser yeah. so that I can start using it in videos. So look, this is what we look like right now. Then when we have the diffuser, look, it gives it that nice little cinematic glow. It kind of blows out the highlights a little bit. Look at the lamps on top. That's pretty cool, huh? iPhone, but uh, it feel like there's too much reflection. <laughs> it's really cool. It's meant for the camera. Camera. Yeah. So this is a moment lens. It's a 20% diffusion. Now I do have a 10%, but I lost it. I like 20, but I feel like it blooms out a little too much. Too much, yeah. So I like having a 10%, but uh, this is 20. So it might be a little bit too hard of a bloom, but uh, if I find my 10%, I'm probably gonna use that more than this because <laughs> yeah. it blooms out the highlights too much. It kind of looks like I got a smudge on the lens, you know? Yeah, like a little smear. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since we've been inside the World of Disney store. We're gonna go inside right now and see if we can find some new merch. I've been wanting to get myself like another jacket or like another nice shirt that's like very Disney inspired because I'm always wearing just red shirts, blue shirts, just basic stuff. But I want to buy like a, a nice Disney t-shirt or maybe a nice button-up shirt. I don't know, I gotta find something. <laughs> I, I really want something like this. Oh, this is so cute. It's forky. Forky? But not just any forky. He's also a brush. What? So what's really cool about this is you're technically brushing your hair with a fork. Kind of like Little Mermaid, right? Little Mermaid, Dingle Hopper, yeah. Yeah, it's the Dingle Hopper. <laughs> There's Bonnie in the bottom. This is $17.99. It's pretty pricey, but it's really cute. Whoa, look at this. Cinnabon Mickey. Wait, I didn't, I didn't know it was a purse. Oh, and it smells like, it the, smells a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's just me. Is it scented? I think it's probably just me. It's probably just me. <laughs> this area smells like sweet, doesn't it? It does. I think most of the plushes here are a bit scented. Look at that. It's looking good. Janelle's over here modeling the purse and it's a Mickey cinnamon bun purse. They also have different ones here. They got Winnie the Pooh. They also have Donald Duck. They got a lot of different ones. Strawberry Shortcake Mini. Yeah. I think. The mystery. <laughs> the mystery of the Disney Munchling. How cute is that? What's in there? It's gummies. Look, strawberry gummies. Oh. Mm, this is cute though. Red little red. He's got a little marshmallow on top. Look. Oh, what is this? <laughs> it's. A, I think it's supposed to be like, yeah, a big marshmallow. It's hot chocolate. Yeah, imagine getting a hot chocolate like this in the park. Maybe one day yeah. it'll happen. Well, not 
not this big, of course, but I like, don't know. You never know. I guess true. Like little <laughs> cups shaped like this with yeah. hot chocolate and the marshmallow on top. It's a hot cocoa good enough for like seven people. But worth it. Seven people? Yeah, I well, I don't, like if you had a cup this big, that's good enough for seven people. I think it's a good 12-er, no? 12-er? Yeah. If you want to be very generous, I guess. Pluto for ramen noodles? These are so cute. This one's you. This is you right here. That's this me? is you. Yeah, this one's the Mickey onion. Come on. Why is that? Why am I an onion? Because you love to order onion rings. Every time you go to like a burger joint, you always <laughs> order like onion rings. I do love my onion rings. I like the shirt here. This is classic Mickey on a red shirt. Isn't that nice? Look that at this. That is nice. Yeah, yeah right? It's cute, yeah. I really like the color red, and this I think this, red? it's kind of like a burgundy red. It's a little darker than the red I'm wearing, but I like it. It is nice. Right? It's very simple. If I wear a t-shirt or like, if I wear like a button-up shirt, you'll kind of like see it right through the middle. I kind of like that. How much is this one? $34.99. That's cute though. I do like it. You see the, the, see the new hat that they have over there? Did you guys see this Fantasyland shirt too? That is pretty neat. It looks very classic. That's awesome. That's another shirt I would wear. I just wish they had like vibrant colors and not just like a light blue. If they were like in a, like in a nice bright orange or maybe a bright like green or something like that, I would totally get it. Oh my gosh. I found the shirt that I totally want. Yeah, that shirt's really cool. Right? Isn't that cool? It's a stitch button up. But guys, they don't have it in my size. No, they <laughs> they have every size but my size, which is extra large. They have large, medium, small, no extra large. But isn't that a neat shirt? Wow. Yeah, let me see if they come back and see. Maybe you can look around and see if they have it. Maybe at the dress shop. Hopefully. You might have it there at the dress shop. So we're about to go head over to the dress shop. See if they have them there, because sometimes they do have like nice mm -hmm button-ups and they have like dresses and stuff like that. Maybe we'll find it there. Yeah, I have a good feeling it might be there. I think, I think, I think. Oh, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see if the dress shop has it. The dress shop, it is. Look at these ears. It's California Adventure and Disneyland. And Disneyland, guys, it's so. so cool. One thing I had an issue with these is that when the battery dies, it was always hard to replace the battery. I don't even think you could replace the battery. I, you could, but it's just, it's a hassle. But these ones are rechargeable, look. Guys, these are rechargeable. I don't think I've ever seen rechargeable ears Neither before. I. That's cool. Now, just imagine the possibility. I uh, you know, these are a little top heavy, so just keep that in mind, but they're so cool. Look at that, see? Yeah, that's cool. cool. Yeah. So I've been looking around the store and it seems like they do not have that stitch shirt, but dang, I'm just gonna have to come back another day and hopefully I can find them because they don't have them in this store. But they have a lot of other cool stuff. This is like the prettiest first. Normally I'm not a duty burke girly, but this one is like calling my name. This is so cute. No, wait. Come on. Am I giving or am I giving? So it was a lot of fun coming in and doing these vlogs and I kind of want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like the vlogs? Do you guys prefer just the regular videos that we do? I know when we have to do the regular videos, we usually have it all pre-planned. We know what we're going to film. We do our research and then we come in and we film it. And the vlogs are more like we just come in and we're having a good time looking around and yeah. seeing things for the first time with you guys, like the booths and seeing that new food coming out for the boardwalk, all that stuff is not pre-planned. We're just walking in, we're finding, yeah, we're finding <laughs> that things. That was really fun. Yeah, so we just wanna know what you guys think. Do you like them or do you prefer the regular format? Um, I, I really wanna know because I, I like to hear what you guys have to say. But if you like these videos, be sure to leave a like and yes. thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, what you doing? it's time to subscribe guys. <laughs> we just wanna say we love you. We're gonna see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye.